2018 has been an amazing busy year for our activists in British Columbia. We started out uh, testifying around the province at the Fair Wage Commission, seeking a minimum wage of $15, an end to two-tier wages. Unifor is playing a leadership role in British Columbia. One of the things that I'm so proud of is the work that our rank and file activists here in BC have done to ensure that the fight for 15 is alive and well. Jesus, all this hard work is starting to pay off. We're doing such wonderful work. It's a part of thing that we go here. We'll step up now to improve workers' rights. Thank you. The BC Liberals have been holding on to the minimum wage for too long, and the Unifor has been pushing the new government to put up the minimum wage to $15. We're successful because we get boots on the ground. We've been aggressive with elections. If the wrong people get elected, everything we have goes Away. Thank you. you need to actually knock on doors and talk to people. Uh, you find out what some of their issues are and you also communicate uh, what your issues are, what you think is important in the election and see if you have a common bond. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. It's a big union. It's got lots of activism around the country and we're just trying to do our, our part locally to, to help advocate some of the national causes. Our strength is in our ability to mobilize and our willingness to stand up for what we believe in. I am so proud of how hard our members have worked on the proportional representation campaign. It's been an amazing member to member campaign and the work they've done is just fabulous. This is a big deal because this really talks about the democracy in our country. It's about ensuring that every vote counts, period. All right, geez, you voted. I voted. <laughs> in this term of government, it may be the most important thing we do. I think that, as we'll find in most uh, countries around the world that have proportional representation, uh, working people have more say. When you're member to member and you're actually talking them to face to face, we are now no longer a computer. You know, we're, we're talking, we're having a conversation and the flow is going, so questions are coming. And we're trying our hardest to, to actually answer all of them for them. Proportional representation is just a better way of voting. This government, is, their policies that they create affect so many aspects of our life that we need to be able to have a system where we are actually represented and where we have a seat at the table. We did a much deeper dive into issues around reconciliation and the work. We're, we're brothers and sisters. Uh, we, we are committed to doing as a union to, to improving Canada. British Columbia is home to over 200 different First Nations communities. To get reconciliation done, it's going to take each and every one of us to consider our role and our action, how we get involved to ensure a more just Canada for Indigenous peoples. We should understand what our history is, because understanding leads to cooperation. And we, when we cooperate, alcoholism, racism, sexism, mental illness, we can overcome it, as long as we're willing to do it together. And a founding principle for Unifor is to make sure that the thoughts and ideas always come from the working people of this country. No matter who you are or where you come from, you belong. And so that is going to be more critical now than ever before. I couldn't express my sexuality or how I identify, especially from a country that sees homosexuality as nothing but a waste. You can get killed, you can get imprisoned. And so Unions are the foundation to represent the voices of the marginalized. So folks like me who are part of the LGBTQ community who's also black, knowing that the fact that I have a voice within my union, knowing the fact that I am represented in my union, gives me the effort in putting out great work and actually fighting for a greater cause. Economic growth alone produces very concentrated benefits for uh, only those at the very top and leaves out many, many working people. And so we can't continue with business as usual. We need to think about people-centered inclusive growth. We need to, instead of thinking of equity as an afterthought, of, of a luxury we can afford only if we have strong economic growth. In fact, it's the other way around. Um, equity is a key driver of growth. Equity is a key driver of innovation and productivity. And we need to um, focus on embedding equity into all our economic and social policies. We are so happy that there has been a change of government and priorities are now placed on the needs of working people. We're seeing $10 of a day childcare, the first part phased in, 
that's an amazing help to our members and also something we've been working on for decades. I'm absolutely glad to see that Unifor is involved in the fight for affordable daycare and childcare. As a single mom, it's, it resonates with me and I think it's important that people are able to afford childcare so they can go out and work and that women can be active members, not just in the workforce, but in their union as well. A large part of what we do is to build our communities and make our province stronger for all British Columbians. That is why I think Unifor is a different kind of union, a better union. Well, I think what really sets us apart as a union, what really defines Unifor is our members, not only their ability to mobilize, but their willingness to mobilize. They fight with passion and with vigor. And when we see people come together in collective action, it can make a difference. We have a hell of a lot of influence. And we are going to continue to use our influence. And we're going to continue to fight. And we're going to continue to battle. And we're going to continue to stand in the streets. And we're going to continue to kick the doors down. 2019, we are going to hit the ground running. We've got a federal election in the fall, and we're going to be out there speaking with our members around the province, town hall meetings, engaging in one-on-one -on -one conversations to make sure that in 2019, we elect a worker-friendly government.